What's up, Let's Go fans? And we are back in Bandung with my guy, yes, sir. Coach David Singleton. Coach, What's going on, man? thank you, man. I'm happy to be here, man. I know it's happy early. Early. It is. It is. early in the morning, man. I appreciate you coming. Appreciate, appreciate you too, it. man. Yeah. Appreciate the time. Yeah. You ready for this rematch? We are, man. We are. We're, we're excited. Uh, I don't think we could be more ready, and uh, yeah. I think everybody's tired of practicing and just ready to play. Yeah, I haven't uh, done this segment in a year. Yeah. So this is just special. This is special just for you, man. No, man. Hopefully you can beat me this time. Oh, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you this time. We're gonna get it this time. <laughs> we're cold though. We're yeah, yeah, really we cold. Are. We <laughs> yeah. We but before we start the three-point contest, of course we gotta talk a little bit yeah. about you. Yeah. Uh, last time I know we talked about you play. I think D2, right? Yeah. Ba college basketball? Yeah, football. Ball. Football, yeah. Ball, yeah. yeah. Three, three sport athlete in <laughs> high school, right? Yeah, I was. I played <laughs> baseball as well. So I grew up playing all the sports. My, my family always put us around that. My mm -hmm. brother played professional baseball for the Twins and the Phillies. So we were just an athletic family and a sport family. And yeah. so at which point of your career yeah. did you decide to be a head coach? Man, you know what? I was, I was working back in the San Francisco mm -hmm. area at around 25, 26. A friend of mine. Uh, Tim Fanning, who coached five years in Maccabi Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. coaches now OTE in Atlanta. He's a head coach there. Uh, he brought me out to New Zealand. He was coaching, and he saw me coaching high school basketball, and he said, hey, man, you want to come out to New Zealand and uh, be my assistant coach? And I said, absolutely. And so uh, that started my journey at 26 years old to be a professional basketball coach. That's not bad, though. Yeah. First gig in New Zealand? I know, man. It was, it was a blessing, man. He was one of my neighbors back in the day yeah. when we were kids. So it was like a family friend, and uh, he always knew about my basketball abilities. And uh, and so he said, look, if you're coaching high school and you're doing some training stuff, then come out here and do the same thing at a professional level. And uh, I appreciate him until this day for that. So did he inspire you to be a high coach? Absolutely. He was one of my inspirations, but obviously my first inspiration was my father. Uh, he was our coach as a young kid. I mean, he coached every sport that we played. Uh, he was all the coach. He was the coach for so many of my friends in the community. Uh, everyone knows him as Coach, uh, coach Steve, and uh, he was a little bit crazy like me. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so that's, that's kind of where I get my fire, my fuel. Uh, he was probably my hardest critic, and uh, I appreciate him for that. I think he's made me a better person and a better coach. So it was my dad. Not yeah. a lot of people know, so it, it is hard though to be coached by your own oh, dad, right? Man, you know, it is one of the most <laughs> difficult things. Other, other kids might see it as, oh, you know, this is daddy yeah. favoring him. But actually, he's the most toughest person. Uh, you know, the guys understood that my dad had a little bit of a crazy side. He wasn't an easy coach. But the person that got it the worst was me all the time in front of parents, in front of high school, in front of coaches, in front of college coaches. Uh, he would let you know how he feels. Uh, but it made me stronger, it made me have thicker skin, and it made me uh, want to fight harder and be better. So it was good. How was that? Car right home when you oh, had a man. bad game. <laughs> you know, uh, that's funny. My mother would laugh at this, and my brother too. Uh, it was we would get home, we would park the car, and then we would stay in the car for another 45 minutes to an hour, talking in front of the house. Can't go in the house yet, and we would have conversations about what I need to do better, how I'm not tough enough. Uh, how I need to be better, what he used to do back in the day, how he used to play back in the day. So I would get those same stories, and sometimes the stories would recycle two to three times every time, but you couldn't get out of the car. You'd be, we'd be in front of the house, but you gotta wait and listen to him talk to you for 45 minutes and go in. So uh, those were never easy. But I do appreciate him for those for those talks. For it's sure. always like no, back man. in my days. Yeah, there it is. It's back in my day. It's this is what you're supposed to do. My, this is what your uncle did. This is what I did. All those type of talks. So, you know, I learned a lot of lessons from it. But the reality is, uh, it, it made me a better person. For How sure. proud is it all of you becoming yeah. a head coach now? You know, I think he's proud. I think he's very proud. I know he. I know he wishes I was in the states coaching. I know he wishes he could see me a little bit more. Uh, but he's definitely proud of me, and, and I know he supports me all the time, and uh, he always wants what's best for me. And uh, I'm trying to get him out here for a game once once the season. I told him he's got to fly out to Jakarta and come out and see us and uh, even come to Bandung and come check us out. So that's the next task for him is to come fly out here and see us and uh, come, come on, watch, Dad. Watch, watch me live, man. Watch come me on, live. Dad. Come yeah. opening night. I know. Uh, <laughs> not that quick. But I think after a couple of the breaks this season, I'm going to try to get him out here. Okay, let's, out let's here. switch gear now yeah. to the season. Okay, <laughs> sure, sure. Opening night yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. Everybody is excited. Yeah. I think it's going to be a sellout over here. Right. Everybody going to pack this gym. Yeah. Is it tough, though, to prepare the first game? Because you don't have a scouting. You, you, yeah. know, you haven't played them. You don't know how they look. Right. Is, it, is it tougher? Right. It is. It is tough. Um, you know, it's very new. They have a lot of new players, mm -hmm. new coach. Uh, probably a new system as well. 
Um, so everything changes, and I think um, that's where it's difficult. Um, they also have a lot of Americans. <laughs> they have a lot of players that know how to play. They have a lot of high-level players, and they have a lot of good local players, like really good local players. So this is going to be a big challenge for us. Um, we are excited for it. Uh, the first game of the season is always tough. I don't think you can always judge everything on the first game of the season. Um, it is just the first game of the season, so we always don't want to put too much into it. Um, it's not life or death, um, but at the same time, we want to perform well. We want to start the season off well, and we want to um, show, show, show well in front of our fans. So we're excited. I think the boys are so tired of practicing, and I think, I think everybody is excited to just play the game and compete against another team. So um, I can't wait to see that. Practice is the hardest thing to get through. Practice is the hardest thing to see your vision because everybody knows everybody and everybody's competing. Everybody knows every play. Everybody knows everybody's tendencies. So this time we get to go against another team, let out our anger, let out our aggression, yeah. and uh, go see another team and we're excited. Yeah, Christian just told me that he is ready for the game. He is so tired ready, of practicing, so but much. you still have two days left, yeah. uh, tomorrow and yeah. Friday. How yeah. can you keep the guys focused, man? You know? That's the thing, I, that was one of my messages yesterday mm -hmm. was uh, stay present in the moment. Uh, don't, don't look ahead, stay understanding that you have to continue to improve every day. That's our whole thing is the daily progress. It's a difficult task. Um, you know, you have to try to give the guys a little bit of freedom in practice, a little bit of joy at practice, let them have a little bit of fun uh, while still being serious and making sure you're doing what you're doing. But, uh, you know, the inevitable. People are going to look ahead. People are going to think ahead. And uh, as good as we can be is based upon how much we can stay present in the moment mm -hmm. and value each day. And, and that's what we've been doing the past two years. And hopefully we can do that this year. Of course, this weekend, everybody talking about PJ yeah. has three former NBA players. They do, they do. They do, so how how can you prepare this team, man, to face yeah. those kind of, those, those caliber of players? Yeah, you know, um, at the end of the day, basketball is about talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you have really, really good basketball players, at times they're gonna make plays, they're gonna mm -hmm. score, they're gonna do special things that other players can't do. And those three players all have the pedigree to make plays that certain players can't make, uh, even around the world. So, uh, you know, PJ did a great job of scouting and getting those players and being able to get them to come into Indonesia. And it's a huge thing for Indonesia and the league to see that type of player. Uh, but for us, we don't, we don't necessarily look at the resume or who that person is, the name. We just look at the player. We just scout the player like a normal person. And uh, we play the game. At the end of the day, you got to play the game. Uh, you got to believe in yourself. You got to be confident. And we believe that with the players that we have, with the structure that we have, with the system that we have, uh, no matter NBA player or not, we can compete against anybody. So uh, we obviously respect them, uh, but we are excited to compete against them, and we believe in ourselves 100%. Is this going to be your toughest challenge yet as a coach? You know, because PJ is super talented. Yeah. You know, they are loaded. Yeah. Uh, so is this going to be your toughest challenge yet? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. uh, this season in general, uh -huh. I think it will be a tough, tough uh, season for everybody. But I think uh, obviously this is on paper. This is the most talented team. Uh, not just the M NBA guys, you still got Jawados, you still got yeah. Bean, uh, you still got the local Arigi, players, yeah, Arigi, yeah, Pras. Pras, Reza, all those guys. So, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big challenge for us. But at the end of the day, I think uh, we also believe in ourselves. That's, that's what I always tell my boys is like, hey, we're good too. Um, and there's no, there's no debating that. Uh, we're a good basketball team. We won a lot of games here in my two years. And so, uh, you know, they have to compete against us. They have to stop us. They have to defend us as well. And uh, we'll, we're going to see when on Saturday night when it tips uh, who's the best team. And you guys still the defending champion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, and we haven't forgot that. And that's something that everybody knows here. And uh, they got to knock us off before uh, somebody else is crowned champion. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough task. It's a great team. Uh, we are going to see how it goes, but uh, we're excited. Yeah, we talked about the imports, and yeah. when you play a couple of scrimmages yeah. already, you can see the use, usage rate yeah. is really high. It is. You know, it's a heavy import yeah. game right now with two imports on the floor and a heritage player. How can you still utilize your local players, and how important are they? Um, for us, it's, it's very valuable. I think uh, we, we haven't got a heritage player or anything like that. We don't have extra Americans or anything like that. Um, and we believe, if you watched us the last two years, mm. we really value the local. My first year, we had a local MVP. My second year, we had a final MV, I mean, an MVP, final MVP, a defensive player of the year, a local six man of the year, and a runner up for local MVP. So my point is, these are all local players. And uh, we don't just value everything on the import. We understand how important it is, but we believe in um, encouraging and uh, lifting up our locals uh, onto that stage and letting them showcase their abilities and not just stick to the imports all day. Um, and so that's, that's the way we do it. Other people do it different ways, but uh, you will see a lot of 
uh, still local influence on this team and on this offense and the, and the system. So you just still gonna shoot a lot? He's gonna <laughs> shoot a lot and he's encouraged to shoot a lot because he's such a good player mm. and he's done it at uh, many different levels and uh, we believe in him. So I think the more people we have that are threats, the better we are and uh, we really encourage and uh, influence our guys to do that. You mentioned heritage. Everybody asking me uh, if you guys gonna get heritage. Ask coach. Oh, man. You know, you know, don't ask me. You know, we look. There, there, obviously, mm. there's there's things around there, but right now, absolutely not. We don't have anybody, so uh, we're gonna stick with our locals. We're gonna do our thing, and uh, and that's is what it is. We just rock with the roster that we have, and uh, we believe we have enough. Yeah, you have more than enough. I yeah. think you, are, you guys are very talented. I think so. You know, especially with the experience they had too last yeah. season, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Them winning a championship, mm. I think that that gives them momentum. I think that that gives them confidence in themselves. Guys like you, the guys like Hans making big plays, big shots, Feardon stepping up so high last year, Pandu. Uh, you can see the, the growth from last year to this year. And then even our young guys, I mean, Lobos, the Kelvins, coming in, doing a lot of big things and uh, bringing seniors like Falcone and, and Sandy in, who know how to win, who've won before. So I think we got all the pieces to do what we do. And uh, we don't we need to worry about other rosters and, and who they have and where they've been and stuff like that. We just focus on ourselves, focus on what we do. And again, people got to stop us too. So uh, we look at it that way as well. So coach, hopefully you're confident today. We <laughs> we ain't gonna do, the, uh, it's done, the talking is done. Yeah, now it's man. time for that three look, point contest. I, got, I gotta win this time. He got me last time, I think by one or two. Yeah, I by one, I think by, by one. one. You, I had and, six, uh, you had five. Hey, he got hot, he got, he got hot that day. I got cold. I'm coming back for him this time. We're gonna go get him. I think I got a hot start. That's yeah, why, did, you know, did. that's why I got my rhythm. So let's let's see how it goes, but uh, I gotta get it back. I gotta get mine back. So we're gonna do 45 back. seconds this okay. time. 45 seconds? Loser. What did we do last time? 30 seconds. Right, so this one is gonna be a little oh, bit longer. Little tired? Okay. Yeah, okay. so um, loser, as always. You got your conditioning ready? I, I got no conditioning. I might throw up. <laughs> what do we do? Suicide? Yeah. All right, or you want to do just run back and forth? Back and forth. Back and yeah, forth. okay. We'll do back, back and, and forth. forth. I, got, I can't get too sweaty. I can't get too sweaty. <laughs> All, right. All right. So now, uh, you pick which spot? Um, what did I pick last time? Uh, you picked that side right there. Uh, well, wing, I'm a, right. I'm going to come back to this spot right here. Okay, so this, I think this might be a spot. I'm going to come back there. I'm so we just need a there. rebounder. We need a young yeah, guys yeah, to we, rebound. We can get low. Yeah, we get low. Are low. Yeah, uh, you ready? Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, I don't want to give him good luck. No good luck. No good luck. <laughs> no good luck. 45 seconds. All right, go. That's one. Oh, hot stars. Ah, one. follow. Follow. <laughs> Ah, come on, level one. one. 33 seconds. Two. Okay. Three. Come on, level. 25 seconds. Four. Ooh. Come on, level. Okay. Ah, that's off. Okay, five. That's not off. Okay. <laughs> five. Awfully in. Come on, level. Level run, right, level. What do we got? Eight seconds. That's seven? Six. Six, okay. Oh, 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 oh. done! Ah. <laughs> okay, guys. Was that six, six or seven? Was that six or seven? Six. Was that six or seven? Huh? Was that six or seven? Seven. Seven, seven. right? Seven, right? Yeah, seven. seven. I think that was seven. Woo! Good score. Yeah, good he, score. He's not gonna beat me on this. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's so. gonna beat me on this. Alright, you got it? Go. Uh-oh. Oh, man! One. Oh, sh 33 seconds. One. Oh my God. We got a new winner. One. 25 oh. seconds. Oh my God. <laughs> 20 seconds. <laughs> Ain't no get back Oh either. my God. Ain't no redo. No redo. No re <laughs> Ain't no redo. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh. Let me get one, bro. Oh my God. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God. Hey, oh my God. That? So last year he got me by one. He running around doing all that in front of the boys. Seven, nothing. Seven, you know nothing. Oh my God, must be the worst strike. I might, I, might I might have to give a redo, but I win for this. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, it's, one. it's true time. So that means he has to come back next season. Next season. Oh, y'all going to see me, y'all going to see me. We're going to run it back one more time. We're going to run it back one more time. Now I got to do my run. All right, man. All right. All right.
So what you got to do? Let's see. Uh, Back I, and forth. I need four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's not the deal. Four. That's I not the four. deal. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I got you. Four. <laughs> right. Go. Uh, at least it's not it's not suicide. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Lobu. I'll do one more. I got one more. All right. I got one more. All right, baby. Back in your playing days. <laughs> yeah. Back in your playing days. Let's go. Let's go, Rock. Finish strong. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let me turn it around. All right. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, Coach. Yes, sir. Ma it must be the Grinch, though. The reverse I think, Grinch. I think so, man. Can y'all see? Hold on. Let me back it up. Oh, it's, yeah, a, it's, it's a little bit backlight. Nah, that's all good, but I think I think it was the shoes today. And I and listen, for a whole year I was thinking about this, but I had to get them back. I had to get them back, man, finally. And, so and I it's 7-0. I cannot believe it. You know, I got going a little bit. Yeah. I've been working on my game a little bit in the offseason, so. I thought that first, the second one, I thought it was, we're man. Yeah, man. Nah, I so. just had to see one in. Hey. He, now, see, the way he got beat, he got to get a rematch. He got to get a rematch now. So I'll give it to him later. I'll give it to him later. Yeah, Team yeah. Nuts. Holla at him, Team Nuts. <laughs> cool, man. This is fun, man. This is fun. It is fun, man. Yeah. So I'm going to see you again. Yep. Saturday Appreciate night. It. Absolutely. Excited, man. Excited, man. We're ready to go. And uh, I just think everybody's ready to play, man. I can't wait, man. Ready to play. Big night. Absolutely. We're ready. We're ready, man. We're ready. We're ready for the season. I'm trying to catch my breath, so I know. I'm going to let him talk. Let me talk. <laughs> hey, man, we're excited for Saturday night. We can't wait for everybody to come out. And uh, like I say, I can't, we can't wait for the season to defend our title. But uh, always start, it only starts with one game. So yeah. That's it. Appreciate you, man. That's always it, man. opening your door for me, man. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. man. Everybody keep asking me, why am I, why I, uh, me and you always get along? Because we're the same age. Hey, man, we are. We are the same yeah. age. We back from the same yeah. early 2000s. Yeah. That's when we came up watching basketball, yeah. playing basketball. Yeah. But yeah, man, I appreciate your content yeah. and the way yeah. that you support basketball in Indonesia. It's a big deal, man. Big I always deal. appreciate you yeah, too, man. For you know, sure. for always helping me. Yeah. Giving me good coach. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Hopefully to get that good coach hey. on Saturday night. <laughs> we're going to see, man. We're going to do our best. Good man. luck, man. Right, man. Thank you. Have a great it. season, coach. Thank you, man. I appreciate, Thank you. appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. See you guys next video. See you guys. Okay.